नमो देवदामोदरानंद विष्णु प्रसिद्ध प्रभो दुख जलाभिमग्न कृपा दृष्टि वृष्टि दिन मृतानु गृहाश्य नमो देव दामोदरानंद विष्णु भगवान श्री कृष्ण इज कॉल्ड दामोदर दाम मीन्स रोप उदर मीन्स बैली एंड दामोदर मीन्स ऑल्सो वन हू वीप्स क्राइस सो लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज कॉल्ड दामोदर बिकॉज मदर यशोदा है टाइड कृष्णा using a rope with the help of a rope that rope was love and tied that rope of love on his belly lord krishna is called ananta ananta means unlimited why lord krishna is called ananta because when he manifested himself into mahavishnu he wanted to take rest and manifested himself into ananta shesha Sometimes he is called Shesha, sometimes he is called Ananta, sometimes he is called Ananta Shesha, or um, sometimes he is called An Shesha Naga, like that. There are several names. So Lord Krishna is called Ananta because he is unlimited. He has an unlimited hoods, and each hood he carries one universe. the universe in which we are living in has 14 planetary systems and this universe rests on top of the hood of that ananta so lord krishna is called ananta vishnu lord krishna is called vishnu because vishnu manifested from lord krishna vishnu has four arms and lord krishna has two arms man is made in the image of god they say so why two armed lord four armed lord came from two armed lord or two armed lord manifested into four armed lord why it is how it is so this very important to understand vishnu is working maintaining the creation vishnu is working manifesting himself into garbhodaka and then karanodaka is working is a work and god means he does nothing nadasya karyam karanam ja vidyate there is no cause for him to do any act there is no act prescribed for krishna krishna says in the bhagavad gita so vishnu is four armed because he has to use for creation manifestation and uh, maintenance that's why lord krishna is also called vishnu because he maintains everyone everyone came from him सर्वस्य धातारम लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज कॉल्ड सर्वस्य धातारम गॉट अनलिमिटेड नेम्स बिकॉज इज अनंता गॉट अनलिमिटेड नेम नो नंबर्स नो काउंट्स प्रसिद्ध प्रभो दुख 
Sukha Jalabdhi Magnam, devotees praying. O Lord Sri Krishna, O Damodara, O Ananda, O Vishnu, please be merciful up to me and become pleased, become happy. Prasida Prabhu. Hey Prabhu, hey worshipable Lord, please be merciful upon me. Why? Dukha Jalabhi Magnam. I am being, I am becoming drowned in the ocean of cycle of birth and death. I am being drowned. Jalabhi Magnam drowned. Oh Lord, I am being drowned. Can you please help? Actually, it is a fact. If somebody is drowning and he don't know how to swim, or even if somebody knows how to swim, how long can he or she swim? Ocean is very vast, no end practically. So how long can they swim? They need help. Even a straw comes near the drowning person, tries to hold the straw, what to speak of a log, like that. So, Krupa drushti brushtyati dinam matanum. I am dina. Dina means downtrodden. I am fallen. I am downtrodden. I need mercy of yours. Krupa drushti brushtya. Please oh, sour your mercy upon me. By souring your mercy upon me, Please help me to get out this from this cycle of birth and death. Krupa drushti brushtyati dinam matanum grahane shamam agyam agya. Agya means not expert, unknown, innocent, who knows nothing. Generally, people are very egotistic, they think they know everything. Ardha kumbham karoti shabdam. When you might experience or you try to experience or you might have seen or heard or read somewhere, when water pot is half filled and you carry it, it will uh, shake. Water will shake and make sound. So one who is thoroughly full in knowledge, he will be very grave. That doesn't mean devotees is very frivolous or uh, jnani is uh, very grave. No, it is not like that. Devotee also has knowledge. And that knowledge is connected to devotional life. Therefore, the knowledge acquired by devotee is also devotional service. That's why devotee is not called jnani, even though he knows a lot. While uh, I talk like this, I remembered 1973. When 1973, I think, I came to my guru in 72 and I would repeat every day so many verses, every day to keep in memory. So these Iskan devotees, those days in the huts in Vrindavan, they called me a Mayavadi because I would repeat all these verses. I want to memorize, remember them all because Ratanti Vidya Pachanti Kheti. Unless you work on the land, it will not remain fertile anymore. Similarly, unless you repeat a Sanskrit knowledge, you will forget them all. You will become unfertile. Like that. So, <clears throat> we cannot become envious each other. So, so, knowledge of devotee is not knowledge, it is devotion. When wire is connected to electric socket, it turns into electric wire, does not remain a copper wire. Similarly, knowledge acquired by a devotee turns into devotional life. Krupa drushti brishtyati dinam Lord Krishna is called Dinanath, Dinabandhu. 
दीनबंधु दीनानाथ काय को कहायो हे द्रौपदी के लाज राखी द्वारिका से धायो हे दैट इज कृष्णा दिस इज इन हिंदी आई कोटेड ए सम काइंड ऑफ सॉन्ग लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज कॉल्ड दीनबंधु दीनबंधु मीन्स वन हु इज दीन मीन्स डाउन ट्रोड एंड फॉलन वन हु इज मीक हम्बल thinks realizes that he don't know anything his knowledge is limited that is called dina lord krishna is called dina bandhu friend of that fallen and is called dina nath master of that devotee who is very humble dinam batanum gruhanesh ma magya me thikhi drushya just as Lord Krishna delivered these twin trees. Similarly, please help me become delivered from the cycle of birth and death. I am drowning in this. Thank you very much.